Hey there anime fan, welcome to my review of Xenosaga the Animation. Now if you've played the game, then you know trying to summarize the plot of Xenosaga is like trying to summarize the encyclopedia. But I'll give it a shot anyway. While transporting a top-secret anti-extra-dimensional alien weapon named Cosmos, a Federation fleet picks up a monolith from 2001. I just adore that movie. The Zohar, as it's called, of course attracts a metric <laughs> load of aliens called Gnosis. And in response to this threat, Cosmos activates and rescues her chief engineer, Shion Uzuki, her assistant, Alan Ridgely, and the rest of the staff of Vector Industries. After they escape the doomed cruiser, Shion, Alan, and Cosmos team up with the crew of the frigate Elsa. Obligatory Frozen reference out of the way. And a cyborg mercenary named Ziggurat 8, Ziggy for short his pink puffball pal Momo, and Chaos, who should just tape a sign to his back that says I am basically a <laughs> Archangel. The Elsa is doing a job for a cat named Guinan Jr. Think a cross between Richie Rich and General Patent. This unlikely group of heroes is drawn into a massive conspiracy surrounding the alien Gnosis, the monolith-like Zohar, and a shady military incident on the planet Second Milsha. Honestly, I don't think the operating instructions for the Black Mesa Reactor are as complicated as the plot to Xenosaga. Let's look at the characters, starting with my favorite, Cosmos. Oh, I could go on and on. But let's just say she's awesome. Great look, great voice, killer moves, etc. Everything about this battle android is optimized for maximum bad attitude. Next we have Shion. She's the leader. I guess. She's smart and nice with a lot of care for the various freaks of science created by her bosses at Vector Industries. But she's got like major abandonment issues. I guess because people she knows keep dying around her. Yeah, and Cosmos killed at least half of them. Ziggy has the exact same backstory as Robocop, but he looks about 80% stupider. Momo's basically a pretty pink flash drive, and everyone wants to make her spill her guts. Junior's a cool dude who's got deep pockets and a positive attitude to go along with his dark past. Then there's Chaos, who's very down-to-earth for a guy who wields the infinite might of the heavens. Now let's move on to the bad guys. The main one is Albedo. Most characters in Xenosaga have the problem of not really talking like normal people, but with Albedo, every single thing he says sounds like it should either land him in a padded cell or a visit from Chris Hansen. Seriously, Albedo's a creepy guy. Next is Utic. Bless you. They're like the Sith if the Sith were also Hydra. They're under the command of Margulis, a scarred fanatic wielding a sword and space magic. You cannot possibly comprehend the power of the dark side. His number two is Pellegree, and she's a shockingly nice person for such a high-level operative in an evil organization. It's like she keeps forgetting she's supposed to be the bad guy. Now, he's not technically a villain, but the seemingly immortal head of the Vector Corporation named Wilhelm, who books it around the cosmos in a Death Star-style mobile base, armed with a superweapon dubstep cannon, and a gang of space Nazgul called the Testament, might be up to something. Just saying. The supporting cast for Xenosaga the Animation is fun, memorable, and gigantic. Art-wise, Xenosaga is very distinctive. That don't mean it's always good. Yeah, Shion, Cosmos, and Momo look good, but the boys, not nearly so much. Well, Junior's not too bad. He is, however, a bit ostentatious. But Chaos. Seriously, guy? Shorts on the outside of your pants? Seriously? And then there's Ziggy. Every game, everybody got a new costume, but the guy who most needed a wardrobe change never got one. Lame. Design-wise, everybody else is kind of hit or miss, like the military commandos in hammer pants, or an MP with the dumbest-looking pigtails ever. But this is a mech anime, so how do the mechs look? Mostly? Pretty cool. There's a lot of variety. Chaos tools around in a big tanky-looking thing. The standard soldier robots are very simple and utilitarian. Junior's bright red robot looks like he got it on loan from Tony Stark. And Pellegree's mech is dark and sinister. There's even a big Evangelion-looking final boss. The animation in Xenosaga is a little bit dodgy. The fight scenes look cool, especially when Cosmos busts out her kung fu. But you'll notice how often characters just sort of stop moving when they're talking, and exploded ships and robots just sort of disappear. Finally, the Gnosis are distinctly alien-looking, but I really don't find them very cool. I guess I've just never cared for them. The cast does a pretty good job. I dig Cosmos's voice, very cool and emotionless. Shion also does a good job. Her dialogue is as unnatural as everybody's, but somehow she pulls it off. Albedo, though, is the worst. 
every single line just sounds bizarre. Although on the other hand, he's clearly cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, so I guess that makes sense. The anime has some nice music too, especially at the opening. Now for the plot. This is Xenosaga's biggest weakness. There are dozens of characters, subplots, and important events to keep track of, and it makes you pine for the simple simplicity of a Senate subcommittee hearing on Mafia finances. Now let's break down the good and the bad in Xenosaga the animation, starting with the art. 7 out of 10. It's not always good, but it's usually memorable. Music and voices. 7 out of 10. Some characters are good, others not so much, and the music was nice, but not mind-blowing. Characters. 9 out of 10. Gosh darn it, I love this crazy bunch of kids. Story. 5 out of 10. There's an entertaining tale in there somewhere, but boy, you got to dig for it. Intangibles. 9 out of 10. As an adaptation of Xenosaga the game, Xenosaga the animation is aces in my book. They get all the little details just right. So overall, I give Xenosaga the animation a 7 out of 10. It's an entertaining mech anime and a must-see for fans. If you're interested in more reviews of movies, TV shows, comic books, or video games, check out my channel on YouTube at StupidPrivate913. And be sure and check out my Facebook page for updates about future videos and other stuff. And be sure and check out my Facebook page for updates about future videos and more. Thanks for watching. For more games, anime, manga, electronics, and stuff, visit the games blog. Hey kids, today's show is brought to you by the letter 4 and the number potato! I'm a stupid private.